guys welcome back to the studentship youtube channel today i'm here live at the university of nigeria i'll be going around asking students you know information about their course of study i can show you that you are going to find this video helpful so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel all right good evening guys good evening uh what's the name and department my name is Ugo Sam, Sam C, Pharmacy, 400 level. Well, wow, nice to meet you. What about you? My name is Anichizava John. I'm a final year. Okay. Wow. So, uh, Pharmacy is one of the popular department students they choose in during their jam, registration, and stuff like that. So, can you tell me what the department is all about or the faculty is all about? Okay. Um, pharmacy. <laughs> pharmacy is a very lucrative and a course everybody clamor to uh, to study. Okay. Yeah. But the good aspect of pharmacy is that once you live here, mm. it's automatic that the internship is something that most people that come from a poor home can even care for. Mm. And also, but you want to have to, you have to be very careful, you have to study very hard. Okay. If you're a jam bite, before you get to here to enter pharmacy, you have to kind of study very hard, read your past question very well. Because even me, when I entered, I, I made merit list, but it wasn't easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy. You need to study very hard. Okay. Then when you get here, the work starts. Okay. Your first year, you do even the math, uh, math 111 yeah, with like one, one, two, one general courses that some persons didn't even encounter in secondary school. Like okay. me, take for instance, in my secondary school, I didn't do further math. But here, because of pharmacy, mm -hmm. you have to do it. Okay? okay, so you need to give yourself extra work as well. Then coming to second year, when you face the profession squarely, because pharmacy on its own, from second year, that's where you face the profession. Mm. Uh -huh. It's later first professional, second professional. Uh -huh. So your first, second year, the, which is the first professional, you have to work hard. Okay. That's the most critical part of it because the experience is, is not there All right. and the workload is too many. Okay. You have to cover a lot. Uh -huh. So that is it for me. So my colleagues can still tell you more okay. experience. So yeah. tell me what is pharmacy like, what is pharmacy about in university as a course? All right. Uh, well, pharmacy is, is actually a faculty okay. uh, that trains personnel that are in charge of the production, okay. manufacturing, and the storage of this drug, as well as using it to treat mm. and illnesses. So that is actually what it's all about, basically. But then, pharmacy here in school mm. um, is actually a very, very nice course, I may say. Yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. But then there's, there's, there's a slight difference from other courses, things, courses. Yeah, yeah. and this actually what makes it look, look like as if it's very stressful. Reason being that we have seven departments, okay. and before you pass through the, the school, you must offer these seven, seven departments. Yeah, yeah. But when you talk about something like uh, medicine, at a time in their way, they will kind of choose, the, yeah, yeah, they will not specialize. Mm -hmm. But in pharmacy, there's, not, there's nothing like that. You have to go through the seven departments, departments yeah. Yes. So that is actually what is making it look like as if it's very, very stressful. Yes, yes, yes. So that's actually it. But the, the, the experience is what it you have. You engage in a lot of practicals mm -hmm. yeah, that are fun yeah. and all that. And then as well, I also like, like the, the, the prestige about the uniform. Okay. Do you understand? I know we are one of those departments that have uniform that yes, is actually yeah. distinguished. Mm. Do you understand? So it's still part of it. Um, well, that's it for now. For now. So let me ask, why did, you, why did you decide to study pharmacy? Has it been like a childhood dream or something you decided on during your jam registration? Okay, well, uh, right from time, right from my secondary school, okay. uh, I've been nursing this ambition for pharmacy or medicine. Okay. Uh, right from time. It's not because uh, I'm too good or that I deserve it, mm. but once you want something, you work towards it, okay. and by God's grace, you will get it. Not just because of studying, but because of life after school. Okay. Uh -huh. You know the situation of the country. Mm. Uh -huh. There's high rate of unemployment. And for the sake, pharmacy is a lucrative course where after your school, you can set up something mm -hmm. uh, hey, and you feed your, exactly. So it's uh, self-employed wow. and so many other things. You have different, you have many chances mm -hmm. uh, hey, to, to survive. Okay. Thank you. So why did you decide to study pharmacy? Uh, <laughs> um, one of my role models uh, is my senior brother. 
Okay. Yeah, that's like our first son. So he actually studied pharmacy. Wow. He's a pharmacist now. He's working in one of the industries in Lagos. So he's actually one of the reasons why I decided to pick up the course. Because he was, uh, he actually opened my eyes into what the course is all about yeah, yeah. before I even started, do you understand? Yeah, yes, then when I actually looked at his life, I saw how the uh, the profession changed his life, offered him opportunity. Mm. At least he's stable now, he's yeah, stable, don't understand? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. stable and doing well. Okay. So I was like, it won't be bad going, going into, into it. Okay. So that is actually one of the reasons. All right, yeah. thank you. So pharmacy involves like drugs, you know, it starts to do with drugs, yeah. uh, you know, chemistry, phys uh, like science, yeah. but more of about chemistry, you understand? Yeah. Hey. So like there are some students from secondary school, let me say they are average students in okay. these courses. So do you think a, an average student, let's say chemistry, can study pharmacy? Well, coming to your your level of uh, intelligence mm. as a secondary school student, if you one thing I believe, one thing I believe is that mm. once you work hard, once you have worked hard, okay. uh, uh, you you make it in pharmacy okay. because you cannot give what you don't have. Uh, uh, if you know something, if you take your time and read, that's why most times you'll be like pharmacy in UN, they are like, are they the only people reading? Uh, you, in as much as you still have to cover a lot of uh, things, mm. you still have to devote your time. Once you are in secondary school, you will get this culture of reading, reading continuously. Mm. If you can study hard, even if you are an average student, you can do pharmacy. Wow, wow. Uh, so yeah. that's it. But Thank your, you. Your determination will yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, can you describe like the typical day of a pharmacy student? Like, what are the activities that you guys are engaging? Is it the practicals? Well, uh, this is the daily routine of a pharmacy student. Uh, most of the classes starts by 8, 8 a.m. Now you go for your theory aspect of the pharmacy, okay. which is usually from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. 11 then after 11 a.m., then you now have different practicals. And the practicals is kind of conducted in groups, mm -hmm. which like alphabetical is arranged, yeah. group A, group B. Yes. So probably I will be in group A, I'm doing a practical today, but you may not, because yeah, oh, yeah, do you understand? So if I have practical that day, after 11 o'clock, yes. I will move into my practical, mm -hmm. do you understand? Then for those that don't have practical that day, it's actually over for them. Okay, okay. They, are, they, are, they are actually free for them, they can go. But sometimes you may actually have practical that will be starting from two. Mm. So you discover that from 11 to two, you, you are free. Mm -hmm. So you see that's how like, pharmacy is actually fun. It depends on if you can actually manage your time and balance everything. Okay. But then if you are not able to, manage your time very well that's when you start uh, complaining that it's tedious it's and easy, hard work yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's actually fun so that's the okay, day-to-day -day okay. routine so are there like any professional exams that you take in no in faculty of pharmacy of course okay uh, uh, of course i i said earlier from second year that's when the professional exam starts yeah. uh, from second year you write four professional exams for those offering b farm four professional exams four professional exams in your second year, your second year. Okay. then your third year you write five professional exams mm. your fourth year you write six professional exams mm. then your final year for b farm you write six professional exams plus your project that's seven mm. uh, but the way pharmacy program is changing their curriculum now mm -hmm. they are shifting from b farm to farm d okay what uh -huh. about? so farm b is five years course okay uh -huh. farm d farm now is six years course. six years course they are now extending pharmacy from five years to six years mm -hmm. so at every level right from your second year you are writing professional exams mm -hmm. so that is it well, in professionals well, well, well. so has there been any like memorable or challenging experience you've had so far in school as a pharmacy student in terms of the academic work? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was in my 400 level. Okay. Then, yeah, then we offered like five practical courses <laughs> as well as other theory courses. Yeah. So what it means is that technically every day, mm. I'm always like finishing around five. <laughs> I'll come to school by eight and oh. I'm going by five because when I finish uh, with my theory aspect by 11, mm. I have practicals. And then when you go home, you see that you have like three courses to report and that <laughs> you submit it. So yes, yes, meaning that 
to, like after doing practical today, mm. you'll be submitting it the next day. And then tomorrow as well, have practical that you do that you'll be submitting the next day. Yes. You understand? So it was very, very serious. It was something you, you still need to read. read. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. So most of the time, I end up sleeping on top of the report <laughs> yeah, manual. The and then we don't. So it's very, very serious. It was, it was very, very challenging. It was very, very challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, thank God. You just mentioned about some of the, you know, so is it possible for pharmacy students to you know, do all that, let's say, polity, side also, all that activity? Is it possible? Uh, of course, of course. If you can manage your time very well, okay. pharmacy, you can you can do any other thing, just like other students. Okay, okay take a, for instance now, me now, I have interest as politics. Yeah. Upon say I'm saying 400 level, 400 is one of is the most tedious in pharmacy. Okay, uh -huh. but I'm managing my time, trying to combine politics and school. Mm -hmm. So it's possible to do other activities. I do go to stadium on Saturdays. Yes. Uh -huh. So you you can't uh, get a kind of you dismiss yourself from other things you have to carry everything along okay, okay. depending on your time managing skills okay so what advice do you have for someone that is applying to study pharmacy university okay well the advice i have for ones for those ones aspiring to study pharmacy is this one you need to discipline yourself okay yeah then you need to be someone that is time conscious okay. you need to meet up with your time and then as well you need to actually develop this habit of reading is very very important because mm. you can't actually build the habit of reading here in school mm. this is what you should have done before coming you know what works for you know the time that actually was for you to read some uh, very very good reading at the daytime okay. while some is at night time yes, yes. so that is actually my just advice yourself. yeah just know yourself first before mm. don't don't be like when when you get admission you now start planning yourself yeah. no plan yourself before you get and then discipline yourself that you'll be someone that because here in school mm. i won't like there's a lot of distraction okay yeah, yeah. so if you're not disciplined you may actually be shifted out from your goal. Yeah, so right. that's it. Discipline, time, consciousness, and then know yourself. Okay. That's my advice uh, to them. Sorry, when you talk about all those professional exams, is it like is there like a benchmark if you fail, you can you fill out all the departments? Yes, yes, of course, you should. Because pharmacy, why some departments or faculty mm. uh, give us this uh, kind of uh, hierarchy is that in pharmacy school, every professional exam is from 50 marks. Okay. Uh -huh. But there are some exceptional cases like dispensing professional in first professional, that's second year. Mm. Uh, dispensing is 60 marks before you pass, even if you score 59. You, you failed already. Then coming to the other side, there's one or another course in forensic mm. in 40. Uh, if you score 59 as well, the pass mark is 60. So there are different uh, this thing. Uh, aside that, others is 50 pass mark. But why in UNN is 40? Okay. Uh, so pharmacy professional have a kind of higher marks above. Wow, thank it. you very, thank you very much. So like any regrets? Like if you go back in time, would you still apply to study pharmacy? Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay. You of say course, it again. Course, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Because I, I believe uh, if anybody watches this video, like you get like an yeah, overview yeah, yeah. of no, what the course is about. Interesting. Even yeah. the course yeah. is interesting. No, I, I wanted to really like what what is actually the difference between this D farm and the B farm? Is there any special benefit attached to it? Because some universities are still running B farm uh, program. Well, for now, for now, there will be special benefits in the future. Per se. Okay. Because you know why? Actually, uh, in school here, the thing has already been kind of as passed as a bill. Okay. But then, uh, one, thing, one thing in Nigeria is that a bill will be passed, but before they will start the following up the bill, the implementation takes the a lot of time. Yeah. So the implementation out there have not actually started taking, taking place. Yeah. So yeah, so those ones that are actually coming out from FAMD may, currently now may not yeah. actually enjoy the benefit of it. Okay. You understand? But it has more benefits than okay. the, the, the FAMD. You know, FAMD, that's the, the, the okay. one that we're doing, and, uh, is, is all about, like, is kind of product oriented. Okay. We are more concerned with the product being the drugs okay. but then the FAMD is now more like a patient oriented cause you understand mm -hmm. uh, you will now meet with the patient yes, yes that's yes. it that's it so you will now be able to come in close with the with the patient okay, discuss okay, with okay. them follow them up even after administering yes. the drugs but in our own case all you just is major about you sell the drug you toy them and, and all that you're this thing uh, that's the okay. that's different so are there like opportunities abroad let's say after graduating from a Nigerian university with a pharmacy result are there opportunities abroad you know, to for that, to work abroad and also for that your studies of course of course there is there is um 
you after your graduation here although for me i don't encourage people running out from this country you know this uh japa japa yeah. who are we brain drain has killed nigeria mm -hmm. so nigeria has intelligent people but because of the situation of the country most people travel abroad yeah, sure. but there are there are opportunities mm -hmm. you can work in a uh, pharmaceutical industry hospitals uh, even in administrative sector like navdac pcn the, depending on the control regulator okay. uh, in the country you are going to there are opportunities in abroad okay you just let's say, say some opportunities so let me just end with you so what are those opportunities available for pharmacy graduates in nigeria like where can you really work apart from maybe the hospital the private practice okay well uh Pharmacy as a profession is a versatile course. Okay. You understand? It costs across a lot of people because we find out that on a daily basis people get sick. Okay. You understand? And then uh, uh, in, a, in, in this, um, what will I say, developed country, we find out that many of these they are corporations that are not even related to pharmacies, they actually have a medical team. Okay. You never can tell when someone in the office will get sick. Mm -hmm. You understand? So something like this shell industries, they should have a medical team at yes, ground. Yes, you understand? Yes. So you have a lot of places you can work. You can work in the army they, they have yeah, a medical military, air force yeah, and all that forces. yes and then like you said you can also work in community that's also ones that work in pharmacy shops okay yeah there's also uh, education that is open the lecturers the teaching yeah, yeah, yeah the academics, academics. Yeah. so it's because it there's a lot of opportunities wow, wow, wow. there's a lot wow, wow. Yeah, wow. Wow. so thank you very much i really appreciate wow. the audience yeah thanks